lot of spring chicken. Yes, we are back out at the beach today, and I will tell you, no matter what you're just going on, any day you can go out to the beach in a swimsuit is a good day. So for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of the day. Ready? Sure. Okay. The Dow collapse is not on debt ceiling, but on the horrible economic news. Nobody's buying anything because nobody's buying anything. Factories aren't getting orders because factories are not getting orders. Factories are laying people off again, which means they're going to have no matter. They said they're going to love the jobs report coming in this week when they know the people are laying people off. And the president's going to tell everybody how less people are being, uh, that there are less unemployed this week than there was last again. <laughs> I know, and you're watching the birds today because... Well, usually they're not hanging out quite like this, and so since they're all hanging out together, we will tell you these are domesticated pigeons. And domesticated albatross. Oh, albatross, excuse me. They're domesticated because we walked right by them. They decided to move because um, yeah. they thought we wanted to walk through them, and then we changed our course, and then they went back to where they and were. And the whiteheads are the adults, and the grays are the kids, so. And yes, I do know the difference between albatrosses and pigeons. Yeah. And no real cuts in budget deal till after the 2012 election. And then there's not going to be any cut in it anyway because they, the CBO basically was totally ignored when they said the figures, the Democrats and Republicans are saying, well, the figures came out pretty close. No, they didn't. didn't they were a trillion dollars short. There is, really? no, there is no cuts in anything except the defense budget. And, um, and they said the defense budget loses $300 billion now, $500 billion in, uh, in a few months, which is a trillion dollars out of the budget. All to get, when they get done, and they said that the next Congress in 212 can simply throw out everything. Oh, here's the goody too, what? that there will only be a vote on the balanced budget amendment if no cuts are made. Oh, really? No, that means no cuts. It said it didn't say all the cuts. It said if no cuts are made, they will get a vote on the balanced budget amendment, which means Bondyard screwed everybody. The Bondyard's old serious? guard. No, he, oh yeah, he is. They old said guard. he's gone. They said his assistants have said they won't vote for it. Nancy Pelosi won't vote for it because there's not enough revenue enhancement. There wasn't supposed to be any, but now they're saying there's not enough. And a budget deal shows why Obama is considered to be America's greatest president. Oh no, he got all these people together and he managed to talk to them into agreeing on something. Well, no, let's see. Uh, Pelosi doesn't agree on it. The House Republican leadership, other than Bonnier, don't agree on it. This morning, McCain basically said he'd have to swallow hard. Most of the Senate leadership and the Republican side don't like it. And they said it accomplishes nothing except give the president a huge victory. And sources, Japan increasingly alarmed the U.S. may miss the deadline. Well, they were never going to miss the deadline. The whole trick is... Which deadline are they talking about? The debt ceiling deadline. They were always going to increase the debt ceiling. What they were trying to do... Okay, we lost our credit rating. That was, I heard this, another person this morning said that was always going to be lost because they knew the Democrats would never cut anything. Never. Well, that was a given. I and mean, they said that's not what the Democrats wanted to hear because they're blaming it all on the Republicans and the debt people who re Obama thought were in his rear pocket said the Democrats will never cut any of their programs. And China urges the U.S. to boost confidence in the debt and dollar. The dollar collapsed this morning, not on the debt thing, on bad... Okay, basically, would our government lie to us on the condition of our economy? Oh, God, yes. They said that 1.2 growth that they're talking about will probably be downsized to maybe 0.2 growth next month. And Obama vows to isolate Assad after deadly day in Syria. I know he doesn't understand. He can't. There's no way on earth he can isolate Assad because um, he he's he's with the group that the people you know he's on the the you know the ruling the ruling Muslims in the Middle East are all his uh, sect. So it's not going to happen. Oh, speaking about Assad, let's talk about baseball. And the California Angels are... Well, oh, just they're basically <laughs> known as the pariah of baseball for using a bunt to break up a, 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 a no-hitter, folks. That's, I know, can you believe they that? They said it was a low life of... And they said there was orders given to do it. And that means that um, they said that basically no one... You want bad press, and they're they calling them... They stopped calling them the, Los Angeles, the, the Angels of Anaheim. They now said they are the Los Angeles Angels of old. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. What do they call them? Okay, here's the comment. As an angel supporter among the, uh, you know, among the group called this. It was a Bush League act by a Bush League manager 
with a Bush League team, so which is low, it's as low as you can call them uh, major leaguers as Bush leaguers. So. Or are you supposed to congratulate them for doing what they can to win the game? They couldn't. They were. They weren't going to win the game. They oh. just did it. To, they did it to mess up the game because I can. Oh. I, mean, I was there when Danny McLean won his 30th game, and I. I remember the manager of the Oakland A's were sitting behind the, behind the A's dugout, and he's saying, you know, when they were, you know, he's telling the batters, he said, don't swing. So you had three batters sit there and take three straight called third strikes, which yeah. is phony. So. Well, that's kind of phony too. But you know, part of it is, is there is respect for. Well, they need, like they need they need to do it. things to get people into the seats, and yeah. when all you got to do is to do nothing, and you give the you give a good. Uh, you know, you give g good credit to baseball. What they did was then is they gave a black eye to baseball. Mm -hmm. And new mileage standards aim for less fuel and pollution. No, it's meant to sell Obama's electric cars because you, you've you reached the maximum point of making a big car get fuel economy. The only way you can get the fuel economy they're talking about is to downsize the vehicles, take the weight off them and make them less safe. I do not want to get hit in the side I do not want a truck hitting a composite car. And British banking giant HSBC sells off 195 U.S. branches. Yeah, and they're basically, I think they downsized by 10,000 people today. Are you serious? Because no one's borrowing, okay, no one has any money, no one therefore can borrow money, and the banks aren't loaning money anyway if they were, if many people did have money, so therefore the banking industry is on the verge of collapse. But don't worry. There's no going to be no thought of a recession unless the Republicans don't play ball. Uh -huh. It was all about the Republicans not doing it. Oh, this morning they said we're not, we don't have uh, a tax problem. What we have is a problem of people that are under-regulated and under-taxed and don't want to pay their fair share like billionaires and millionaires. Uh -huh. They're back to that again, folks. And Britain's Cameron faces grilling on hacking crisis. Well, his, he's out because his, he hired people to work for him that were working for it. First of all, they discovered, oh, amazing, uh, here's the amazing thing they discovered. All the tabloids do that sort of thing. It's not hacking. It, the hacking is just another word for paying people for information. Nobody hacks anything. It's just, they're using the wiener excuse, I was hacked. And Holder opened a meeting September 9-11, oh, September 11 families on hacking. They already said there was no hacking done of any of them. None of them. So therefore, it's just another PR. Okay, uh, did all of this attacks on Murdoch work? Yeah, well, because Murdoch is now calling the people, the Tea Party people, hobbits, out to destroy our nation, trying to destroy is the Murdoch economy. Is Murdoch doing that? I know John McCain was. No, but um, they agreed with Murdoch. That they agreed with McCain in an edit. They're running editorials attacking people that would go after Obama. So guess what? You know, the threats of going to... That money would have no problem with him, but the threats of going, oh, there the little shit chase the birds. The the threats of um, of uh, going to jail at his the, age. The so. kids just want to watch him. I know. He just basically, that they call that asshole. So. Well, you knew that was going to happen. But don't worry. The president of the United States will probably give him the, uh, the highest civilian medal possible. And U.S. backup debt plan doesn't support raiding movies. That's right. Well, okay. The... Um, we, they told people you had to cut four trillion dollars. They didn't cut anything, but they cut three hundred billion dollars, uh, three hundred billion out of defense, and they're five hundred billion out of defense, and they're just not going to spend any more money. And the, Serbia, uh, they aren't. No, they're not going to. I forgot. They're not. Instead of ten trillion dollars of expenditures by Obama, they're only going to spend nine trillion now. Wow. That's how they get that. Wow, they did throw out the bill. They threw so out. So frugal. Yeah, but they threw out the trillion dollars in savings from the, the end of the war because it looks like the war isn't about to end anytime soon. As the violence is picking up everywhere, as Obama pulled back, everybody knew there would be an increased violence. So. Well, you did mention it. Everybody but Obama and the Democrats. Serbia arrests last war crimes fugitive. And they can't convict any of them because the, uh, you know, and they basically. They, they, I think they've lost in every war triumph trial they've had, so... And Syrian military assaults intensify on home, 16 killed. Yeah, well, they actually, they whacked out another 80 today, and Obama is condemning them. Dick, he, you've lost the respect of your people. No, he never had the respect of the people. He was a dictator. The election was, the, uh, the former president handed the country over to his son. That's the election. Um, 
No end game inside is debt default loans. Oh well, yeah, because as of the day, nobody, you know, well, the Republicans got 98% of what they wanted. Well, did they get deficit reduction? No. Did they get a balanced budget amendment voted on? No. You know, did they get cuts in social programs? No. The Democrats, did the Democrats get everything they wanted? Everything but the, oh, everything they got but the, um, the, the you know, all the revenue they wanted to come in to spend. That's so who who ended up as the winner? Yeah. Moody's cuts Greece debt rating three notches to C A. Yeah. C A. That means it's below it's below it oh, basically. Oh C A rating. Yeah. And, and so it's basically as cautious the advisory. It means they're they're they said that's where we're heading also. Oh and a monty bubble is up the Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. Okay. Being old means you have probably often done what you're advising those younger than you that are getting ready to do and no it doesn't work because you've done it before. <laughs>